2011 Mercedes uh, C300. As you can see, the shifter will not shift out of gear. Um, you can hold the brakes down and you cannot shift it out of gear. And uh, it lights up there the park and everything, but it will not let you shift out of gear. The ECM and um, transmission is showing no communication with this N15. Uh, this should be on the CAN network and my scanner is also unable to communicate, connect to it. So uh, there's a fuse, fuse number 16 in the fuse box up here in the front. I checked that, it's got power. I believe it's a five amp fuse. So the issue is not that. So we got to investigate more what's going on here if this is bad or if it's a cabling issue. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and do some tests at the uh, connector for the ESM, electronic shifter module. So we're gonna use the uh, our ultimate CAN bus uh, tester right now. So if you don't know, there's gonna be a link in the description and show you more details about this product. I'm connected to ground right there. I just grabbed grab the ground and CAN high, if you saw the diagram, is gonna be pin seven. I don't know if you can see that there, where the yellow uh, lead is, it's in pin seven. And then pin six is CAN low. And first thing I notice uh, to me, you probably got some flickering on there, but it's not flickering like this in, in when you're in person, but it's about 2.5 and half a volt at can low. I don't really like that, the can low. Um, could be an issue there. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is connect my scanner directly uh, to the port, and I should be able to communicate with everything on the CAN bus network um, through my port right here on the, uh, on the CAN bus tester. So if I can, that that eliminates and let, lets me know there's uh, no issues with the uh, actual CAN wiring. But if I cannot, then that confirms that there's an issue with the CAN wiring. Okay guys, now if you see that, it looks like the voltage is normal right now. And you gotta be careful with that because my scanner's plugged in right now. So we're seeing actual voltage reflecting from the bus and my scanner. So you always need to do a test without your scanner plugged in to the port to, to verify the voltages you're also getting on the bus, okay? That's very important, guys. Okay, if you saw the wiring diagrams, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the green uh, light, which is uh, can low, and I'm going to uh, connect it to pin one, and that should be our power, a red cable, and we should get 12 volts, which we do, and pin two is should be a ground, so we should go to zero, and we do. So that tells me that this can low has voltage coming in, and I'm not plugged in, that's because my scanner is plugged in, so that's what it's actually seeing. So that confirms that we do have, um, back into the power, we do have power and ground uh, that is fine. So uh, the issue is going to be uh, the CAN bus wiring coming from here. There's a, uh, a junction for the CAN, CAN connector, and I've got to find that. And that's most likely where our issue is going to be because the CAN low signal is definitely something wrong and I cannot connect or communicate with the vehicle from this CAN connector here. So that confirms the issue. That's why I go to tell you guys, this tool is, man, you can't even count the value because the time I save right here by being able to test all this, see instantly at the CAN low, there's most likely an issue. And this cuts down your CAN bus troubleshooting down to almost nothing. So right now I just need to find a connector, which I suspect it might be right there. You guys, uh, looks like I found it. It's, uh, I showed you a picture of it but it is there. Uh, this car, the customer did tell me this car was involved in a flood water before. So this is definitely uh, most likely gonna be what's going on here. Pull this up and it was in there further back here and I was able to pull it up and I can see signs of corrosion. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, if you see that, that definitely looks like possible corrosion or um, discoloration on the colors. The Ultimate CAN bus tester has a star connector plug for the Dodge. This actually looks like a similar connector. I'm gonna test it and see if it works. If it does, I should be able to get connection here into the CAN bus network as well from the drivetrain line. So let's see. Okay, so here is the connector. Um, 
as you can see, I have some readouts right now. It's a little probably flickering to you guys, but it's not like that in person. Uh, let's see if it's compatible. If it is, we should be able to get a connection. Yes, it is, it looks like. Guys, the connector is a little different so it wouldn't fit, but I want to show you, you can see that. The green crust is there, water corrosion, guys. So uh, that's what we got going on here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean all these up here and see if we get a difference. All right, boys, I went ahead and cleaned it out and moved it to a different connector with some electrical cleaner. And as you can see now on our pin six and seven, this looks more like it. Uh, this looks closer to five volts, um, 2.3 and two on the can low, which looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and connect up my scanner now right here to the port on the ultimate CAN bus tester and let's see. I was able to communicate. I went ahead and plugged the, the uh, connector back into the ESM, cleared the codes, and guess what? Now it's lit up there in the P. Can shift it to reverse. Bam, there it is, boys. Back to park. So it's working. So basically, uh, this shifter works on the CAN bus. So if you have any issues with the CAN bus, uh, the drivetrain, which is primarily, I believe, blue and white on this vehicle, uh, you can have this problem with the shifter where you cannot shift out of park. So here it is again. This problem was solved with the Ultimate CAN bus tester, guys. This is something you don't want to sleep on, boys. Five seconds of plugging this up, we could see that the CAN low had an issue. It was uh, less than half a volt. Bam, just like that. Ultimate CAN bus tester, boys. It's an invaluable tool. If you don't have it, add it to your arsenal. Um, link is in the description. Hit a thumbs up, all my the humans on this channel and the YouTube bots, y'all know what to do, man. So if you figured out something, you learned something new now, and guess what? You didn't know, now you know. And learning is half the battles, boys. See you on the next one.